that sometime in early 1990, on the cusp of the golden era for point-and-click adventure games, LucasArts have released Maniac Mansion, Zack McCracken, Indiana Jones, Loom, and The Secret of Monkey Island, while Sierra Online have released various installments of Leisure Suit Larry, Space Quest, Police Quest, and King's Quest games. Having played a lot of these titles, I somehow came across a Sierra game called Mixed Up Mother Goose. My first impressions were, was this a kid's game? And the answer was actually yes. The game was made to be semi-educational, and the original boxed copy features an age recommendation of ages 4 and up. But there was something compelling and wholesome about this game, written by Roberta Williams, who also wrote the story to the King's Quest series of games. The story in Mixed Up Mother Goose revolves around a bunch of nursery rhyme characters who lost key props to sing their nursery rhymes. In a way, its simplicity is its genius. There's no inventory, and you can only hold one item at a time, meaning you'll drop the current item in place of any new one you find. This sneakily tests not only your understanding of popular kids' tunes, but turns into a memory game of where in the world you left that darn item you need to complete the current new puzzle you've stumbled upon. There were a bunch of different versions released from 1987 through to 1995, with upgraded graphics, interfaces and sound being the major changes. I thought I'd revisit the original and give it a playthrough to see if its basic gameplay is still as endearing today as it was back then. So let's take a look at Mixed Up Mother Goose. Alrighty, let's play some Mixed Up Mother Goose, one of the old Sierra classics from back in the day. I think even when I played this originally I was way too old for it, but it's just got that Sierra charm about it. Uh, written and looks like designed by Roberta Williams who did a lot of the King's Quest series. It's targeted at kids and it's meant to be super simple because you're basically solving a bunch of nursery rhymes that are mixed up. We shall kick it off. Finished it. Hopefully we will. Now let's go this guy. Good night, finished it. Dreaming of flying on a goose. That's a pretty big goose, I've got to say. I finished it. My rhymes are mixed up. Please help me fix them. Oh look, we'll see what we can do. It's a massive goose. Um, there should be a... Yes, let's go for fastest. What you want? Yeah, oh, who's this guy? Let's go and have a look. 
Woe is me, I lost my candlestick. Ah, is this uh Jack be nimble? Jack be quick. Alright, so we've gotta find his candlestick. Oh. Whoops. What is this? Doesn't look like a candlestick. It's a water pail. Or a water even. Oh, is there no it doesn't look like there's inventory <laughs> management. Okay, this guy needs a dog. Um, so is it just going to... Oh, does it put things down when you pick them up? That might be the case. Whoa, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> that's way too many kids. Please, I need broth for my children. Okay. And what's... Do you have anything in the house? <laughs> Just r go in and uh, raid it. Oh, what's that? Hmm. The mouse doesn't always work in weird tight areas. I'll just switch to the keyboard briefly. Oh, it does. Okay, and it puts it down. Alright, so I'm going <laughs> to... It's going to be some inventory management here. Um, why does she need a broth? She's got like a, a pan of food here already. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's uh, mosey on out. So, oh, I put it back. Wait, is that because I, okay. It does, so you can only carry one thing at once. So we're going to have to remember where things are. Okay, so she needs a broth. Uh, we put a pail down in there. Ooh, who's this? Help me find my tuffet. So that's Lil Miss Muffet? Okay. Oh, and now she's following me. Okay. Yeah. Look, let's go over here. Ooh, there's the thing. The broth. Alright, Miss Tuffet's gonna have to wait. Okay, does that... Hopefully she stops, like, stalking me now. Alright, there we go. And I've just unconsciously switched to the keyboard here because it seems to be better. That guy wanted something, his dog. Okay, so this is good. Supper time. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. She whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. <laughs> Not sure if they'd be put up with today, but um, there you have it. Okay, so you get the uh, nursery rhyme as you complete the... Uh, the story which is pretty cool okay so that's one down and our score is now one of 18 so that's handy let's check out what's where my lamb has wandered off okay guessing her name's Mary and she wants the lamb oh, and there's like is that like a violin Okay, all right, so this stuff placed all around. Oh. Who's this guy? My wife is gone again. Okay. I don't think that was her over there, was it? No, that was Miss Muffet. Okay, nothing in here. Alright, so he needs his wife. She needs a tuffet. There's a mouse. Oh, there's a castle here as well. And a king. Oh, there's the candlestick. Alright, cool. So, I'm just gonna 
speed run it. Oh, and there's Humpty Dumpty. Okay, everyone's popping up. Got like 99 problems here, and they're all nursery rhymes. And where was Jack? He was over here. I wonder if have people if people have <laughs> if have people if people have uh, tried to speed run this. No, I don't want this thing. There we go. Because I'm looking for. Oh wait, wait. Wasn't wasn't he here? Wasn't Jack here? There he is. Very well dressed, by the way. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Ha! <laughs> All right. I'm uh, so going to look up the speed running time for this after it's finished. Okay, uh, what have we got? We haven't gone left this, this way. You know, there's a house with clocks there. Oh, is this... Okay, it's actually Bo Peep. Man, there's a sheep and a lamb. I've got to keep track of everything. All right, so. Huh. You there, fetch me my sixpence. All right, so the uh, tasks are growing by the minute. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Looks like some weird funky purple cereal um all right let's look around oh it's the tuffet okay so she's back in town so we can go find her yep okay that was her right Yep, okay. <laughs> Just leave a bowl of food on the ground in the garden. Don't mind me. I was next to that tree, right? There we go. Eating of curds and whey. I thought it was eating her. Cool. That's a uh, three done. What was this? What is that? <laughs> Looks like someone's been ill on the ground. They're hungry. Okay, they want a steak. I mean, I've got a knife, like... Okay, it's right over there. <laughs> I mean, they could just hop over the hedge, right? I'm unfamiliar with this nursery rhyme. Oh, Jack Sprat. I'm going around like Uber Eats over here. Is that a chainsaw? <laughs> okay, it's, a, it's one of those 
horse head things. I swear I looked like a chainsaw. <laughs> That'd be a different kind of nursery rhyme. Um, I don't know who needs this. Hello. I guess I'm not done yet, so... Okay. Back we go. This guy's just easily amused with his candlestick. There's a mouse there. I don't really want the mouse, to be honest. I'll take this horse back. I want a dog. Uh, it's up this way. Hmm. She needs a lamb. Guy needs his wife. Ah, oh, here she is. I live in a pumpkin. Have I got a pumpkin for you? Follow me, ma'am. Peter Paper. Pumpkin Eater. Alrighty. Five down. And what are the uh oh, alright. Child, please bring me my pipe. Okay. Where did I leave that? Uh what does somebody dump? sure if I uh, should bring him a ladder really. We all know how that's going to end. Bread knife. Okay. Yep. Pretty sure I left that in the lawn over here. Yep. Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall he eat? White bread and butter. How shall he cut it without ever a knife? There you go. I'm glad I resolved that for them. Uh, okay, let's find the pipe. You think he'd be able to send out his uh, guards or whatever to get it? So it's the king's bowl. Gee, this guy's a bit greedy, isn't he? He's asking for more than one thing. Good thing I kept it in the yard here. Now, I'm pretty sure 
briefly duck in into this game before that the items are random every time you play it like they're placed in different areas so I wonder if people have figured out like a speedrunning algorithm okay Did they can you just say his children these sons yes as I was saying uh, it would be interesting to see if it's well truly random or how many the um, different paths there are to try and finish it as quickly as possible oh here they are can you help us find the castle yes indeed Yeah, if only there was a path there. Again, very well dressed blokes. That's oh, old King Cole. I signed up for this. It's like putting on a dance. Okay, Humpty's over there. Still haven't seen a ladder. I mean, I might as well carry this. I figure it's better to have something in hand just in case hmm ah oh, wait <laughs> that's funny it's bounding after me is this what she's after? Or is this... I've lost my sheep. Oh, okay, this is the lamb. Okay, there needs to be two of them. Alright, so this is... Because that's Bo Peep. Oh no, now the lamb is stuck. I've got to bring it over this way. Up here, there we go. Okay. Fiddle. Gotta see the cow jump over the moon. Actually, can you go left here? You can. What's that? Buckets. Man, there's more going on than I thought here. seen a dog. I'll keep a lookout. Oh, 
No promises. Yeah, what's watering can? Oh, jeez. Okay, where have I left that? Wasn't in the house, was it? So now I have to backtrack and I should have written this stuff down. Because I'm pretty sure it put it down in a swap somewhere. Hmm. I haven't seen a sixpence either. Okay, there's the fiddle. That's handle. Oh, okay, and there's the dog. We'll go the dog first because... Oh, and the sheep. Okay. We'll do sheep first because that's closer. Right there even. Nailed that. Cool, halfway mark, 9 out of 18. It's a good thing I found the dog. It's probably, you know, the thing you want to rescue the most, right? Head back and get that uh, fiddle. Uh, watering can. Yep. Probably better to duck past people that you've already helped because they don't ask you about the thing again for the fifth time. Can't remember what's in that house. We'll have to check it out. Okay. Here's a real classic. Yeah. 
Hmm. It's actually not at this point. So we do, we do need the, uh, we still need to find the pail, the watering pail. Just reverted to keyboard here. Ah, oh, there's the sixpence. What's this guy want? Pi. Wait, is that the pie? Okay, I just put it down. It looks like a bowl of dog food, I'm not gonna lie. But that worked out well, didn't it? Kids really getting into it. Just gonna double check this clock house. No, cannot remember where I left that watering pail. It's a bucket. heard that one before. I mean, might as well carry that. I've left it in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's the ladder. Wait, I think I'm going to know who's going to want this bucket. Didn't leave the pail on there, did I? No. Stay tuned for another classic. Alrighty, three to go. So, just leave it. Nope. We've got 
the I know the mouse is still around and this thing who rides on a horse thing ah oh, there's the pail okay that's annoying I keep calling it a pail I know it's a watering can I just keep making that mistake okay so the horse thing's in the shoe and we have to just get down to giving this to that woman on the farm. Alright, so it's only the mouse and the horse thing. Have we come across anyone else though? I don't think we have. I'm missing one of the quadrants somewhere. When I say quadrants, I mean square of the map. Because it looks like it's like... What is it? Five by five. A bit more. Okay, so I'll grab this mouse. Can't go any further this way. It's a dead end. Oh, is um, it's not one of the blind mice, is it? Yeah, okay. In which case, it'd be like the House with clocks, maybe? Alrighty, that's uh, so the uh, horse toy, which is in the shoe house, is surely one of these houses. And I don't know where else that'd go. Wait, did I just. No, that's wrong. This one's for the win as well.
there's no one else really, is there? Just there. That's the pumpkin house. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I have not heard of this. Okay, that was a total fluke. called a cock horse to Banbury Cross. Wherever she goes. Oh, there you go. And there we have it. That's uh, max points. Yeah, I think so too. So there we have it. Uh, mixed up Mother Goose by Sierra. Does it hold up? Look, I still think it's a great children's game. Uh, and maybe a good one to jog your memory of nursery rhymes. But uh, yeah, pretty uh, easy uh, playthrough there. Alrighty, well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch us next time.